I think I know what you're thinking, which is the same thing that I'm thinking, which is the real reason why you clicked on this video, so why don't we just get started? I have no idea what any of that was about, but anyway, let's jump into the task at hand here. At this point in the game, you should have a domain name registered with Namecheap, and you should also have your hosting set up with Web Hosting Hub. If you haven't gotten to these two things, this video here is kind of like the third step. So you might want to go and take care of those first. Well, you would have to go and take care of those first because you can't this thing until you do those things. Do the, uh, What I'm trying to say is I'll leave some links to you down below in the show notes that show you how to set up your domain name with Namecheap and your web hosting with Web Hosting Hub. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, now in this video, the third step, what we want to do is we want to connect the two together. So specifically what we'll be doing is pointing your domain name to your web hosting hub account. And of course it's over on web hosting hub where you're actually going to be storing your website. Okay. So all we're doing here is pointing your domain. If you have no idea what I'm talking about here, or if you don't understand the concept again, head to the show notes down below. I leave all kinds of great links there that explain everything. Okay. Now, in order to point your domain to your web hosting hub account, this means we will need to make some changes to your domain name. It may seem to get a little bit technical. It might get a little bit duh, but it's actually pretty straightforward. It's, it's pretty easy stuff. And I'm going to walk you through the, the whole thing here. And I want to mention here too that anytime you want to point a domain name that you've registered in the past to web hosting hub, you'd need to walk through this process. And the good news is that this process only takes a few minutes. It means a trip back to Namecheap. We're going to make some changes there. It only takes a few minutes. The downside is the bad side or the bad news really is that it can take up to 24 hours for you to see the changes actually take effect. In geeky language, webby speak, this is called resolving or or waiting for the domain change to propagate across the web. Anyway, it's just going to take 24 hours for you to see the changes. That's really all that means. Anyway, let's jump right into it and see exactly how to pull all this off. Okay, so we're ready to go and point the name cheap domain over to your web hosting hub hosted website. Now, in order to do this, we need to change something in your domain that's called the DNS or the name server information. And this is usually when people start freaking out and they start thinking that it's way too technical for them. I'm going to walk you through the entire process here. So the first thing that we're going to do is, well, I'm going to go and head over to my browser. Go ahead and fire up your browser as well. Let's walk through this together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my web hosting hub account management panel. So go ahead and navigate to webhostinghub.com. And in the top right corner, I'm going to go ahead and click on login. This is going to bring us into our account management panel. As you can see down towards the bottom left here. So go ahead and log in with your email address and your password. And let's also confirm that we are indeed living, breathing human beings and not robots. Go ahead and log in. And there's our account management panel. Now it's in here where we can find the server information that we need to apply to our domain name to point the domain name to our web server. Okay, so imagine your web server has a special address. We want to add that address to our domain name so that the domain name knows what to point to. Okay. And if I scroll down here inside the account management panel, down into my website area, this is the second section here, if you will, on the screen, there's a ton of stuff here. We're after account technical details. Go ahead and click on that guy if you would. Now on the next screen that appears, we get all kinds of all kinds of information showing up here. If you scroll down a little bit, maybe about halfway or so, you'll find a section here, name server one, name server two, and you'll see ns1.webhostinghub.com and ns or name server two.webhostinghub.com. That's the two pieces of information that we need to go and insert into our domain name. Okay. Now, in order to do that, that means we need to take a journey back to 
Namecheap. So keep your web hosting hub account management panel open in one browser tab. Go ahead and open up a new browser tab. That I was not prepared for. By the way, i totally digressing here. These photos that show up, it's a, a Firefox plugin called Stellar Photos. You get some really cool stuff. Anyway, like this guy looking you right in the eye. Anyway, I'm going to head to Namecheap.com. You can check out that Firefox plugin if you want. It's pretty cool stuff. Random photos and things like that. Opening up instead of a, you know, a, a generic browser tab. Anyway, back to business here. On Namecheap, I'm going to go sign in way up in the top left here and go ahead and sign in to your account on Namecheap here, of course. All right, and once we're in, probably the best way to do this to make sure you and I are at the exact same spot here is if we both head to domain list over on the left hand side. Now, if you're brand new to all this, brand new to web design and all this good stuff, you probably only have one domain name registered, which you probably registered with me when I walked you through that in a previous tutorial. Myself, I have a few domains here. So what I need to do is I need to go and find the domain that I'm after, which is 10tontesting.com. By the way, not to digress too much, but that corresponds with the domain name that I've set up here on Web Hosting Hub, okay? So what I need to do is I need to go and find that domain name here on Namecheap, and way over on the right-hand side, I need to go and manage this guy. So go ahead and click on that Manage button. On the next screen that appears, scroll down just a little bit. You'll see a name servers section, this section right here. And notice here it says, Namecheap Basic DNS. I'm going to drop down this menu here and I'm going to choose Custom DNS. And wouldn't you know it, there are two fields here, Name Server 1, Name Server 2. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then I'm thinking I should be heading back to Web Hosting Hub, back into this area here. This was our account technical details page, which we left open. I'm going to go all the way down and find Name Server 1, Name Server 2, and I'm going to grab these guys, select them there, and copy them, Controller Command C, back over to Namecheap, drop my cursor into that first field, and you guessed it, paste that in there. Same with the second one. Go ahead and head back to Web Hosting Hub, grab the second guy here, copy them, back over to Namecheap, and paste them in there. Paste them into that Name Server 2 field. Now, this is the important part, the critical, the critical moment of the entire process. This little tiny, you'd almost miss it, this tiny little green check mark here. You got to save your changes. If you don't save your changes, it's not going to work. Go ahead and click on save there. Give this page a second here. And we get a couple of warnings here. DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. We talked about that and we can't allow or we can't make a change to the name servers again for another 79 seconds or so, something like that. Anyway, so there you go. That's all there is to it. So all we needed to do is we needed to go and find the name server or the DNS info over on Web Hosting Hub and plug it into our domain name over on Namecheap. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to minimize my browser here, go all the way back down to my desktop. That's it. So with those steps complete, your domain should be set correctly to now point to your website, which is hosted over on Web Hosting Hub. Okay, so there you go. That's really all there is to it. I told you it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. And truth be told, it's a little anticlimactic. It's sort of like save your changes and then that's it. <laughs> that's all you do. So you just need to sit tight for the time being until, again, the domain name resolves or, you know, the changes propagate across the web, as I mentioned earlier on. Again, about 24 hours, sometimes less, usually less. And if it still hasn't resolved after 24 hours, here's what I would suggest you do. Wait 48 hours, if you can. <laughs> Wait about 48 hours. If you're still not seeing the changes, then something's up. Something's gone on. In other words, after 48 hours, if you type in your domain name into your web browser and it doesn't take you to your web hosting hub website, hosted website, then something's not right. So you'll have to go back to Namecheap and double check your settings. Maybe go through these steps one more time. Until all of that happens, all I can say is just sit tight. So that's really all there is to it. So I hope you got your domain name pointed to 
web hosting hub. Now, I should mention as well before we take off here that if you are interested, you can go and check out a free course that I put together for small business owners and creative types and self-marketers. You can check it out over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. Go and check that out if it sounds interesting. That is it for now. That is it for today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.